intro outro tree because evidently I did not record hardly anything even the like of me talking even though I have footage also let's appreciate the floof it is very floof today um so yeah it is still respectably August while I'm doing this um had a bit of a panic today. I was going to call uh, the doctor's office and be an adult and make like three appointments that I need to make and then proceeded to have a panic attack before I could even pick up the phone. So we're doing real good today. Just excellent. I did want to say that I got like a new phone case which I just cracked the plastic thing getting my phone out because otherwise it wouldn't sit on the thing correctly. So yeah, I'm real thrilled about that considering how expensive that was. And I got a new water ball. Um, they're both from Society6. And I will try and remember to link to the artists in the drawer below. And now here have things that I am talking about. It, it is a weird little grab bag of things. So Enjoy. Hi, it's me, Tree. Uh, today is Tuesday, August 17th. Um, useful for you, you know, useful for me as editor, you know, I guess. Um, I, I'm not sure if this will be intro outro tree or what, but, uh, Gnome has their first day officially back in face-to-face -face classroom today. That's where they are currently. They're on the they're on the United campus. Um, and both they and I are very concerned and very worried about this. Um, like they, they they have health issues that make hello bean that make getting COVID complicated, and I have health issues that make getting COVID complicated. I mean, minor you know lung issues because I am a intense asthmatic, so that's fun. Um, Hence why I don't go out into the world currently, because we don't live in a very well vaccinated area. I also don't know if this is all going to stay in the vlog or not. I'm just... <clears throat> need to do the talkie-talkie thing, apparently. This is the first time I have been home alone by myself for more than like a couple of hours at a time for since March of 2020 so it's a little weird to me right now so I don't know if people who watch this watch my other watch my other uh, look at my other sock mitts but I've been working on but I've been working on a 
new tiny series of things that are little paper houses. That I'm really enjoying. They're made out of scrap cardboard and wax paper and paint and creations <clears throat> and they're built to be built to be luminaries which I really like I need to get more little need to get more little lights to put in them. I mean, I have more lights around here somewhere, but I don't know where they are. So, typical. Um, but I really like them. I really like the idea of them. They're... They have several sites of origin, including Fairwood from the Crows, and, uh haunted houses or possessed houses in horror movies, but also specifically this um, British movie called Paper House, which um, I will put a link to the Wikipedia in the in the in the thing below, in the description that was where I was looking for, because it is a wild ride from beginning to end and I first saw it when I was a relatively small child and it has stuck. Also, this movie called Housekeeping, which I will also put the Wikipedia for. That is less ho less horror oriented, but it does have this house in the mountains that um, has stayed in my head. Also, there's a photographer I follow who takes really interesting, like, southern gothic photos, which was a site of, a uh, site of origin for these little houses. sitting on my work desk. It's usually not lit up. I just thought I'd do it for fun. But the other one, the second one, because I do in fact have this thing for swamps um, and the Southern Gothic and Appalachian Gap Gothic. So, and I recently, like in the last like couple, three months, 
learned about birch swamps. Um, and part of that was uh, because of the Strahd campaign, I will theoretically be running at some point in time. Um, if we will ever get past a point where seeing other people in physical spaces is not dangerous for everyone involved. Because I don't think I can convince the other two players to, to, uh, to virtually play. And we all have weird brains and it just wouldn't work for them. So, yes. <coughs> um, I also need to do, like, a flip through of sketchbooks because I've finished, um, another one. But I've been working the last couple days on this, uh, art journal spread, which is inspired by the Side Wound of Christ, <clears throat> can't say it, Side Wound of Christ <laughs> as, uh, reproductive organs, which is actually a medieval thing. This is very not intro or outro tree, so I'm going to stop here for now and think about what else I want to talk about. Um, so, yeah, I will see you again soon, maybe? I mean, I'm really hoping to, like, edit things this week. Because Gnome at school have time by myself. Mm. This is weird. Okay, bye. So let's do some introductions. Robbie. Woo! My name is Robbie Damon, and I left all my latex at home. Ah! But, but that doesn't mean I'm not equally dangerous as Dorian Storm, the Air Genasi Bard. Here, rock your world. Let's go. Finale time. Ah! Woo! Who are you? Uh, I'm Liam O'Brien. I am wearing latex. You just can't see it. Uh, I am just playing as Orm, the Irishari, the halfling of my dreams. He is so dreamy. Let's play. Ooh. He's so dreamy. Don't say that. He's like, I won't kill you off, Ashley. <laughs> Hello. I am Ashley Suzanne Johnson. I am playing Fern Calloway. And um, I was going to try to make a latex joke, like my skin is... Cause that's, I can't, I gotta work on it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I gotta work on it. Gotta work, anyway, shop it. Work in so, I'm fun to it. Hey! Hey! hey. 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 Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matthew Mercer. I play Dariax, the dwarf and sorcerer, and I chose instead to go with more of a vinyl type band. Oh, yeah, I see. Uh, okay. okay. This week in the room is minimal. Great, great. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, <laughs> Hi, I'm Amy Carrero. I play Opal, a hexblade warlock who is fresh out of spells. Yeah. <laughs> this is going so well. Warlock live. All right, since these episodes are wonderfully So, evidently, somebody has bought the options um, to make a Last of Their Home Mage series, TV series, TV adaptation. And I'm excited. I am a giant Mercedes Lackey nerd, especially the Belgarth. Begarth. I'm saying it wrong. I'll put it there. Um, mythologies. I, I've read probably all the books. I think there's like a handful I haven't. Um, and while I'm extremely excited, I'm also having a... Because there are parts of the Last of the Herald Mage trilogy that while they made sense in the late 80s, early 90s when the books were written they are very 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 nope and were very traumatizing for me as a kid 
So, yes, because they were adult books and I read them as, when I was, started reading them when I was 11. Because that's me. So, I don't know if they're going to keep those things. I really hope they don't because, boy howdy. Um, but generally, I'm excited. Generally. I wish I didn't have the concerns about the worrying parts. asking you. Oh. What do we think of? What do I think? Tornado. Two days in a row? Yeah. <laughs> ah, it's, it's fun. So we're sitting in our hallway. And the, and because the, we don't have a basement. Yes. And the kitty is out. Yes. <laughs> She's being very brave. Yes. She's very brave. Hi. And we have the weather panic channel on. It's fine. And I just have to uh, point out too, because I know yesterday... Uh, we have no lights on other than our um, colored string lights. But <coughs> um, I feel like I should explain why we're sitting in the hallway. We don't have a basement. And the only other room that we have that has fewer windows than this, because the hallway has none, although it has doorways, is my studio slash garage, which has one, but it also has all the exterior facing walls. So the uh, hallway is our best option. It's like most people are like, ah, oh, the privy. It's like, nope, our privy has a window in it, in the shower. So this is our excitement. Hello, outro tree. My hair is still blue. If you have enjoyed my shenanigans, or generally enjoy my shenanigans, please like, comment, share, and su subscribe, should that be a thing that you want to do. If you enjoy me, I have other sock meds. I am Tentacle Made Studios, or Tentacle Made literally everywhere that matters. If you want to support, like, my shenanigans financially, I have both a Kofi and a Patreon. They are both Tentacle Made Studios. I have a Redbubble. That I periodically remember to put more things on. I have stuff in my shop. I have my original illustrations for Mermaid this year and stickers and I have thoughts about some things I'm going to add soon. <sighs> Gotta post about your products. And I also take commissions. Um, mostly I do digital commissions but should you need a physical piece I can do that too. So okay. Do good, be kind, be brave, and courage.